what's this? No more up in your face like a can of pepper spray. You have a psychiatric. Oh, you matched that out on Apex the other night, man. I was sitting next to my boy Joe. I was watching Tekken. I was watching Street Fighter. I was watching Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom. Seeing all different variations of characters get fucked up. And now it's time for Pokemon since I wasn't able to make it there on Friday, man. This is my VGC. And I'm telling you right now. I bet not see no comments talking about this isn't VGC rules because it's not flat double standards. Ugh. Anyway, enough fooling around, man. My opponent's gonna lead out with Gyarados. Scare the hell out of my train until I switch out to Rotom. Burn that shit, man. I got the George Foreman grill in the back, baby. You want barbecue sauce? Cause you looking like half the snake you was when you first came out, Gyarados. Anyway, I'm just gonna switch out into my Magnezone and switch right back out into my Latios just because he went for the Dragonness. I mean, even so, because he's burning, he has like the life orb and stuff like that. I do take a lot of damage from the earthquake, and it's not worth having Magnezone take all that earth damage because I'm like looking at his squad. This guy has all these big ass monsters, and if I'm not careful, I'm gonna have to update my passport and fly to the furthest Pokemon Center. Oh, you in Saffron City? <laughs> I better move to Sinnoh, man. Too scared to battle you again. Are you serious? Anyway, I take out the Gyarados. In comes the Garchomp. I go for Rocks finally. I'm supposed to go for the Ice Beam because I wanted to get up as much residual damage on the Mets and preferably the Thunderous T. I wasn't as concerned with Garchomp as I was with the Thunderous T. And I know that Ice Beam, respectively, on the Tyranitar that I do have, won't take out the Garchomp. So, what I was actually thinking was go for the Magnet Rise, anticipating his Solomon to come into play. Now, trying to take advantage of the fact that my Magnezone is in play. And then afterwards, I can like switch into my Latios, thinking that he will go for the Fire Blast since I used the Magnet Rise and the Earthquake obviously won't affect it. And I could fire off a Draco Meter on whatever he decides to switch in, provided that he wants to save the Solomon for later. Wrong, but none of that even takes place because he switches in Jellicent and then afterwards switches in Espeon, which is like questionable, and then afterwards makes the correct play, which is what he should have done in the first place. I fire off what I thought was hidden power ice, but it turns out to not take super effective damage from my hidden power attack. He retaliates back with a focus blast, but I get the ideology to set up substitutes to rack up as much damage as possible from the sandstorm, and then afterwards retaliate back with whatever my hidden power was. I have to deduct that as fire now and um, finish off the Thunderous Theory from that he has there. He switches it into Jellicent, and I'm hesitant to do Discharge because he still has a theory form. It won't scum back completely just after one Stealthrock switching. It will actually need two damage outputs from Stealthrock in order to get a clean cut KO finish on that Thunder theory form. So I'm not taking that chance right now. I'm gonna go for the Hidden Power Fire, and afterwards I'm just gonna switch out into my Latios because just assuming that this turn he decided to switch out into his Thunder theory form, I could take whatever he decides to dish out with his Thunderous and then afterwards retaliate back with either the Side Shock or the Draco Meteor and just finish off the Thunderous and then after that I'll be able to hit everything in sight on sight whether you're near sight or far sight with an electric type attack man anyway he brings in the Solomons and tries to fool me that he's like a choice guard variant just to probably get him for D-Dance assuming that I will switch out my Latios to save him for later on but why would I at the amount of HP that I am then he brings in Espeon makes a huge mistake by not going for the Psychic and then afterwards I finish off his Thunderous Therian form after I survive the Sandstorm with 6 hit points and then his Focus Blast Miss. We're here with Garchomp right now, bringing the Magnus on just to lock himself onto the Earthquake. And then afterwards, I bring in my own Garchomp. Finish his ass off. Boom, son. Who's the real hammerhead shark in this bitch, man? So I saw this mammal on the train today with green and yellow hair with fake eyelashes. I put out my Pokedex in my back pocket. Then I got from Toys R Us to see what it was. She turns around with an angry face and she says, what you doing? 